Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 1, Episode 16. Let's watch the episode. Man, this better be worth it. So, you turned Leatherhead's old subway car into this? Donnie, have I ever told you how awesome you are? No. no. You well, I'm seriously considering it. <laughs> so you even said he did. It's a transaxle, multi-armored, electromagnetic shell razor. What? The shell razor. It's the perfect name. That is the perfect name. Of course it is, bro. You guys always underestimate me. Ooh, gum! No. Ah. Yeah, but you know, it's fine, it's nice, but I do like that vehicle they end up making the one with the big wheels that has almost everything. Now, I've assigned everyone to a station based on your individual skill sets. I can't drive because my station's in the back. So, driver! driver. What? No, 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 no. Leo drives. Why? He's least likely to hit something just for fun. True. True. <laughs> yeah, that is true. So, how do we get this baby going? Okay, just ease the throttle forward ever so slightly. Ah! Oh, yeah. It didn't go beyond. Yes, it, it is the one I was talking about. It is wheels. Donnie, you're awesome. Yeah, you finally said it. The stereo? What good would this thing be without some tunes? Yeah, those are boring tunes. Do Yoji. Uh, they're having too much funny. <laughs> uh, this is nice. No, that's not gay, see. Not. Oh, the pulverizer's getting just... Well, pulverized. I don't know the word, but we gotta help him. How do you like the odds now, Fong? Whoa, the turtles! How does he know who we are? <laughs> I also have the same question. How does he know? CDS, really, dude. Oh, dang, almost had him. Not cool, man. Cops, we gotta go. Oh, hey, uh, great teamwork, guys. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Who you think you are, or what you think you're doing, but don't. Yeah, maybe sometime we can get together and. Oh, hey, I think I'm. Oh! Oh! You guys hear something? Oh no, you're dragging him with you. We got a problem. What the? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I remember this episode. Finish this. Oh, when you were like, oh, you're going down. And then you were like, oh, bees. Oh, when you were like, you don't like say a strong silent type. <laughs> Dudes, we have a stalker. You inspired me to become a hero. I, I saw you guys and I thought, what have they got that I haven't got? Years of training under a grandmaster of ninjutsu? No, an awesome costume. What'd you get yours, by the way? Uh, we are not wearing costumes. No, he doesn't need to know that. Uh... 
Cool. How do I do that? You, stop talking. We gotta get him out of here. What, what's a Krang? If we told you, we'd have to kill you. Can we do that? Krang are aliens from another dimension. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you so that we can kill you. It's not like they'd know what to do with it, unless they're stealing it for someone else. Well, who do we know that would be interested in stolen evil robot parts? I want to be a hero now. I don't have time for the basics. Show me the good. It's gonna turn you into a villain. We know that. One more. Jet, fuck, step, sweep, twirl, backflip, strike. Okay, got it. Jab. And that's why we start with the basics. He's gonna turn into villain and he's gonna use these skills against him. I don't know how Master Splinter is gonna react out without hearing this. I know I did it. That's good as rolling, I guess. No, stop! You're heading for Master Splinter's Splinter's room. Donatello. Does this belong to you? Yes. Sensei? Pulverizer. Pulverizer? Sensei. Pleased to meet you. See what I'm working on? Well, here it comes. <laughs> Look, sushi that delivers itself. <laughs> Dude, fish face is a little sensitive. You're calling him fish face? <laughs> well, it was that or a Robocarp. Yeah, fish face. No, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Important safety tip. Uh, I'm fine. I love you. He's not fun! <laughs> yeah, there are huge red flags. When we need an antidote. Now put your left leg up here, right leg down here, twist your hips, and down I go. No, check that! Oh, what the? I knew you ate my pizza! You liar! <laughs> uh, this is angry about the pizza. Energy signature. We gotta get back underground before they come looking for the power cell. It's too late. See what I mean? Even go to helicopters. is gone now. Oh man, it looks like I mucked everything up, didn't I? Hey bro, it's not your fault. Uh, it is. It is. Oh yeah. Not completely. I'm the one who sent the shot. You're just gonna become a villain because of this. We gotta figure out how we're getting that power cell back. Which raises the question, how are we gonna get the shell razor home? So they pushed it. Are you sure the parking brake isn't on? For the hundredth time, yes! Oh, wait. Sorry, guys! Uh, try it now. Donnie! Donnie! <laughs> well, I have to say this. 
I don't think this episode is better than the last episode, but it's still a good episode. Not great, but good. Now the whole thing about you know, especially about this uh random dude on the street, just coming in and just you know knowing about the titles. Of course, I think the, this kind of you know solve the problem that I was gonna ask later. But seriously, this dude right in the street, much of the time, and they're telling me he's in the street and at night, and they're telling me everybody, everyone in the street is asleep. Not even one. So, you know, this, this I guess he was the one who well, the only one who was awake that night when they were fighting Dexter Strong Man. Yeah, that's his name. And he saw everything and he was like, okay, those those people who are wearing Chato's costume, I want to be like them. Now of course he's uh weight and just it was not um martial art material as for now if you train hard maybe one day but as for now no and then he just decided to go in the street and fight crime which is something that is not a good idea especially if you saw how the title of the fighting and you just think you know out of your mind like yeah i can replicate that and i don't need to practice i don't i don't practice i just go at that just out of nowhere you just think it good and you just go in the street and fight and expect to win that is not gonna happen so I think I uh, just did this episode, you know, sort of telling uh, him, you know, they will find a way to tell him that, you know, it's not a good idea. Even though at the end he just says, I'm gonna practice and one day I'm gonna be good and I'll show you guys, you know. So, yeah, my other, the other feeling uh, is that is I had him uh, when he came into play. I thought he, he was gonna become a villain, which, to be honest, I, I can't rule that out. The titles were not very nice to him, you know. They weren't really harsh to him, they were just telling the truth. But, you know, he could see it as more of being harsh and, you know, being denied. Therefore, he would just, like try to uh, take revenge against them for, you know, sort of being feeling that he got rejected. Even though he didn't, he just being told the truth. So, because of this, there's a chance that you might try to be a villain. And that is if he doesn't get muted, especially if he get muted and he like, you know, turn into something else. There's a high chance, but maybe you will just, you know, become a, a good uh, mutant and help the turtles, which is highly unlikely. And I don't recall anyone, any turtle, or not any mutant uh, helping the turtles, you know. Of course, the others that, I uh, forgot his name, but the crocodile, the alligator that we saw in the last video or of episode ago he's the one only one who's been helping the turtles who has actually helped the turtles and so far and i know we're gonna see one or two in the future but there hasn't been a lot of them so i don't know i don't see him in the future becoming one of the turtles his allies was i do feel a feeling that we're gonna see him in the future you know just don't know exactly how whether he'll still be the same different villain or not i just don't know how so until then, we don't know anything. So yeah, this episode truly focuses on that, and it truly focuses on Donny. I don't know getting that truck, you know, the mega mega show. I think that was the name that Mike gave it. It was nice because I've been waiting for it for a long time. We know that we're gonna see it in the future, but we just didn't know when. But now we actually saw it, and you know, it's actually cool. But now they need to find a new source of power. Was the crane kind of took the one the AD, which actually they kind of took it from the crane, but you know it's a bad thing, therefore, yeah. I think John should have tried to do a little bit more than just a glass to protect it. You know, he could have put a grass and something else, you know, just to make sure that it's in a place where it's not easily reachable. So I blame Don on that, but yeah, I think you know, using it for something, you know, instead of just leaving it in the lair just sitting there i think that was a good choice you know just use it for something but you know because of using it uh the crane kind of find it out find out it you know, kind of got into trouble we kind of got into trouble i don't know if i'm why i'm saying we kind of like i was there so yeah it is nice to see and with that being said guys make sure that uh you do leave a like comment down below what did you think about this episode was it really good or a bit or just you know i think 
it's a good episode. I think the majority of the episodes on this show are going to be good. Uh, but there are some who are great, but yeah. Overall, they are all enjoyable. Because how can you not enjoy uh, the relationship between the Ninja Turtles? So that is always going to be nice to see. So yeah, like I said before, make sure that you like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.